The prayer I would share would be read differently in many different traditions. The one I would share would be that upon waking in the morning, I make the sign of the cross and remember my baptism. If I were a Baptist, I would have a vivid sense of it because it would have happened when I were an adolescent. As a Catholic, a Lutheran, Episcopalian, or whatever, in the Christian world, our originating point is usually as an infant. But we have to spend our life growing into that. And I think that's true in all the religions, that if you take them a day at a time and ask the point of origin, the original innocence, if you will, or the gift that's given us along the way, and live off that, the day will take on a different kind of meaning. We don't have to keep praying visibly and orally all the time. You live off the energy that was put there by that first thought of the day. And in our tradition, again, at the end, you think the same kind of thought, and the last word in our prayer book says, and then you go to sleep quickly and cheerfully. And I find it almost always works. So I can say, Hallelujah and Amen at the end of that one.